what is going on guys welcome back to the channel some pretty big news and console updates is coming out soon for playstation and it is expected to follow up with xbox as well to do the same and what they're going to be doing is removing online communities if you're on xbox they call them clubs on xbox they are already currently on microsoft windows 10 removed this option so they're expecting this to go on with consoles as well but specifically for playstation 4 there's an update coming out 8.5, which they call their spring update. So that means anytime between March 20th and June 20th, that will come out if they're going by just the calendar itself to call it spring, but they'll be removing all online communities. And currently already for PlayStation 5, this option is gone. So if you have, you know, if you did this before and you're on PS5, you already see this option is no longer there. So if you're having to maintain the community, you're having to go ahead and log into your PS4. So not telling you guys anything new, but this is a pretty big deal. Rockstar really honestly has not cared to do anything to stop griefing. And let me define griefing. Even though it sucks, I'm not talking about, you know, uh, underscore death demon, underscore dot, 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 whatever you want to call him, randomly just sees you and blows up your wagon. Um, and it just tries to take your goods. He happens to see on the map that you got notified. I'm talking about the weirdos. I'm talking about the weirdos that follow you from showdowns to lobby, to lobby, to lobby. And then somehow the next day they still follow you because they're weirdos and they haven't turned their PlayStation off and you're still in recent players, which Rockstar needs to remove that because recent players is only designed to grief because someone's your friend. You don't need to join in on them recent players. So anyway that part out of the way just wanted to define what i consider a griefer um but yeah soon they're gonna be uh, releasing this so this is a pretty big deal um, like i said hopefully rockstar will remove the recent players option and if you don't really fully know what i'm talking about i think most of you probably do but let's go ahead and take a look at this real quick so the communities that said they're going to remove is if you go ahead and go to your home and you scroll up and go up to here to where it says communities of course, your desktop will look different depending on your theme. And currently, you see, I have no communities. I had one that was probably almost about a thousand people and people just used it to jump in on randoms, usually low levels, or they would try to jump into my streams and just blow stuff up and stuff just being huge douchebags. So I had to delete it and go with Discord. And of course, with Discord, you can't join in on that, but we could at least communicate with the community. I had to go ahead and delete it because it got so toxic. Not even so much people were jumping on me. They were just jumping on anybody random they saw online. So if you go ahead and go down here, and I'm gonna show you on friends communities, all of these, no matter what it is, will be gone. Even if you're not a toxic community, you'll be gone. And what I think is funny, if you go through Red Dead and you can see right here, some of my friends right here, this is where griefers should go if they want to fight people, but most of them don't have the guts to. Like this one legit says, you know, warning uh, before you join, because they let you know if you join this, people are going to randomly join in on you and want to fight because it's called war for a reason. But most of those guys, they don't want to. They want to go get little Jimmy that's north of Valentine fishing. He's ranked 30. He's pretty awesome. He just got his, uh, you know, fishing rod not not long ago. He just got his wagon. He thinks life's great and uh underscore demon you know <laughs> line 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 dot 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 whatever the crap their user uh, tag is just blows them up with a dynamite bow over and over and over again so what ha is happening is we're losing something because of douchebags and video games which isn't nothing new uh but yeah um at least it's gonna take an option out now there's still ways people can do it of course but this is one of the big ones because they randomly just jump in on people and most people don't realize that people are doing that and they ruin your gameplay. They ruin uh, the time you're having. You know, in video games, it's supposed to be organic where you fight against people and stuff. That's that's a given. Like in Red Dead, if you're going to go for that long distance delivery to get an extra $125, the risk is someone's going to blow you up. So that's a risk you choose instead of some weirdo constantly following you everywhere. Or you got these guys that are considering themselves white knight superheroes of the video games. And they try to friend request whoever you're fighting so they could jump in and save the day. <laughs> but anyway, just wanted to get you guys updated with that. Anything to do with Red Dead Online or it affects Red Dead Online and try to keep you guys updated with. So if you do want to stay up to Red Dead Online, go ahead and hit that sub button and bell notification. And as always, guys, I'll catch you next time in the next video.